expect attacking football. That's not what rugby league is. So, when we won the Champions League, and when we finished second in the league, we still didn't play attacking football, but we accepted it because we were successful. Now, what we're saying is that Rafa then changed. Rafa says, let's sign attacking players. So, Benayoun, Babel, so he signed strikers. He signed attacking players, but that's not who he is. If Rafa Benitez manages the way he manages, Valencia, he'll be a very cautious manager, which maybe Liverpool fans don't like. But we have to accept Rafa for who he is, or not have him. Yeah? So, but at the moment, I don't think it makes any difference. We can't do anything about it, because we have the money to get rid of him and to bring someone else in anyway. But in terms of the way they actually play, that, that, that's the problem. Secondly, and this is the most important part, and it's hard for Liverpool fans to accept this, I'm a Liverpool fan myself, is that you mentioned two players there who spent a lot of money on them, and you have no control over how much money you spend, because if you have to spend 20 million on somebody, you have to spend 20 million on him. Now, if the best players in the world, the best players in the world, let's say Kaka, for example, anybody, best player in the world, coming to England, as much as it pains you to say it, he's not going to come to Liverpool. He's going to go to Manchester United, he's going to go to Mount Chelsea, he's going to go to Arsenal before Liverpool, which wouldn't happen in the past. So Liverpool cannot get the best players in the world. So what you do is you get the second string. So you buy Aquilani and you buy players who are, whereas for me, if they could say stop buying players for 80, the same as stop buying players for 6, 7 million, 3 or 4 of them, buy one player for 25 million, who's the best in the world, then you do that. But it won't happen because he won't come to Liverpool. We have to be realistic. At this day, 20 years ago you would have made it. Whereas now, if you get any top player in the world coming to England, they're not going to come to Liverpool.